always great to catch up with friends, but sometimes our friends are uh, the people we work with every day as well. That's right. We're actually going to be bringing on a really close friend of ours, John Paolo Bossi. He's going to be here to welcome everybody to 3D Experience World 2020. John Paolo Bossi, welcome. <laughs> hey, how are you? Hey, John Paolo, how are you? Hi, Jeremy. Good to have you here. Good to see you. So, John Paolo, you know, we just got done talking with Stephen about. Uh, what really makes this event unique is it doesn't matter how many of these events you've been to in the past, this is everybody's first 3D experience world. <laughs> it is true, yeah. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about what you've kind of experienced over the last few days as you're getting ready for 3D experience world. Well, uh, as, I, as I like to say that uh, there are a few things that are changing and a few things that don't change. Yeah. I was at the Cad Monkey dinner yesterday. That didn't change at all. It was exactly <laughs> the same fault, you know, same yeah. beer, same fun, same music, same speeches. You know, it's a, it's a lot of fun. So those things are not changing. Our heart is not changing. We are still uh, authentic SOLIDWORKS. And uh, as I will say tomorrow, this is new. Yes, it is a 3D experience works because we are evolving uh, our strategy. We are evolving our offer but uh, we are still uh, SOLIDWORKS. Our heart, our values, uh, our vision, our strategy is not going to change. We are here to serve our customers, to connect with them, and to let them connect and dream a future with uh, all of us. Yeah, I think this event is all about the, the culture that is this event. I think that's great. You know, you, you get the opportunity to see a, a, a lot of really cool things here throughout the event. I have to ask, you know, everybody's got a personal favorite thing that they experience when they're at 3D Experience World. Tell me, tell me what one of the things you're most excited and looking forward to. Well, I have been working with uh, a bunch of very smart people that are uh, designing the next generation of prosthetics, okay? So we have a PhD from uh, the MIT. We have uh, Mike Schultz, who is uh, an athlete, a top, at an elite athlete. He's a gold and silver medalist of the Paralympics. He won 10 X Games. Oh, and wow. you know what? Wow. He lost his leg and he's still back in the game. After losing his leg, he keeps winning and winning and winning. Nobody can stop him. And now uh, we are going into stage two of the prosthetic development with the researchers at MIT that are developing the new generation of responsive prosthetic. Prosthetic that can uh, respond to the impulses coming from the brain. So prosthetics that uh, are uh, really reacting uh, like real limbs. This is truly uh, amazing to me. So we are going into the era of uh, technology and uh, sensors and biomechatronics that, that can even improve the performance of people that are handicapped, that went uh, through terrible injuries. Their bodies is not only going to be as good as before, but even better. It, it's amazing what is happening. So for me, this is a highlight of this event because uh, we will talk a lot about uh, our connection to humanity, how the things that we design and we develop are connecting and improving human life. And this is a glaring example, in my opinion. So that is one of my favorite things. Yeah, I, you know, Mark and I had the opportunity to walk around and we've actually seen, so one of the really cool things that folks can come and uh, see here in the 3D Experience Playground is they'll actually be able to see this product being used on the entire 3D Experience yep. platform. This product was designed on the 3D Experience platform. We're showing how it's being leveraged with Delmia Works and our shop floor experience that we have here. So it's a really cool opportunity for people to really see how all the tools are integral to making a business like this successful and, uh, and just really help get them up, uh, up and going. Yeah, it is exciting to see our technology being used, fully used now, not tomorrow. It is now. It is happening yeah. as we speak. And uh, I think this is uh, what we want to bring uh, to our audience today. You know, you, we always speak about uh, how to make dreams come true. This is happening as we speak. It's now. It's not, uh, it's not far away. Actually, it is happening now. The technology is there. It's mature. But uh, um, this is a chance also for us to show what is the plan because uh, you have to continuously keep dreaming, right? It's human to dream, but it's also human to desire that dreams come true. And dreams are coming true. As soon as the dream is, has come true, 
is not a dream anymore. And we keep dreaming. And that's, that's fun and that's fantastic. This is what, what happens here at Ward. So I feel like that's our, our subtitle should be Making Dreams Reality, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sounds good. Sounds good. I so, buy that. So over the course of this event, we're going to be streaming a lot of content, including general session tomorrow. Okay, everyone. Oh, hold on. We, <laughs> hold on. We got a general we got reception. We're getting an announcement coming over. through here. We are live, right? Yeah, we're completely live right yeah, now. That's so live. That's we're, live. we're gonna have that's stuff live. like that coming in and <laughs> over here. So tomorrow general session. It's always an exciting day. Yep. People get to see the vision and the direction of our company. Are there any like little tidbits you could any like things you're excited to maybe talk about that you can share with the folks that to tune it tell them why to tune in tomorrow? Well, I think you should tune in for uh, because I will make uh, two very important announcements that are really important for uh, our audience, so they should tune in. It's going to be a lot of fun. There will be the opening will be memorable. <laughs> I, I, uh, and are you, are and people, will un people will understand why I fall in love with this job. They will understand it the very first moment of the, of the opening. So we will, exp we will explain, we will make uh, two announcements for the first time, so very big uh, business announcements, but we will show some uh, little snippets of what's coming in the future. And uh, so I think people should, uh, should uh, tune in because uh, it's going to be entertaining, it's going to be fun, but it's also going to be very visionary because we have the chance to showcase the best that is coming out of our labs. It will be there on General Session. Are you also streaming the VAR general session after general session in the morning? Uh, I don't know if that session we are. We're going to be interviewing all the keynote speakers from general session after, okay. after general session. Now, I know, you know Mark Martel, right? Yeah, absolutely. They, they are uh, doing a live demo throughout this uh, event, a live demo of our technology. All connected is uh, super entertaining and is super amazing because uh, they will show how to design a full, very complex product, a mechatronic uh, prosthetic limbs, because yeah. this will be the main theme here. And they do it in uh, real time, live. It's truly wow. amazing. I've seen it uh, through out several. I don't know if you will be able to show it uh, in, uh, in video streaming, but uh, maybe you should find out how. We oh. should be able to definitely, at, maybe at some point during the event, we can Call go these guys, put it. them here. They just need a table like this, yeah. and they can do it. Yeah. Please do it and please watch it. Yeah. Mark's actually going to be doing the same thing. You're going to be mm -hmm. uh, demonstrating at a presentation. You're going to be uh, showing some of the X apps, right? That's right. Internally. I'll be showing uh, X design and X shape apps to um, also some of our reseller partners as well in uh, breakout session two. So yeah, Very we good. have a lot of that. Now yeah. I will say, you don't have to go to one of these events to see this live. You can actually come right here to the 3D Experience Playground. And if you go in the center booth, we have our Deso Systems booth. They're actually showing off all of the software. You can just kind of walk around and you can see all of this stuff displayed. You can see the X apps, the fully cloud-based, web browser-based apps running in the cloud. They're working and you can see them here. Yeah. And you can see kind of the, you know, the, the workflows, you can see the life cycles, you can see everything right here for yourself. So you can come and experience it rather Absolutely. than just watch it as well. So. And what about the shop floor? I mean, yeah. let's mention it. Uh, it's going to be exciting. Mark oh, was boy. saying earlier, he's going to get to do the whole roving, going over there, going through each of yeah. the stations. It's always a highlight of the live stream. Our viewers at home absolutely love the shop floor. All of us are engineers at heart, and we love <laughs> not only seeing a product design, but a product being built. Mm -hmm. and, and that's the ultimate reward. Yeah, yep. that's fantastic. So, Mark, I think you guys shortly are going to be taking a look at something, a big reveal here at 3D Experience World. We're going to be cashing that emotional paycheck, so to speak. <laughs> That's right. um, okay. We had an opportunity. Can we talk about what you're going to be going and looking at? I think so. I think so, yeah. So you and I earlier got to go look at uh, a, co a group called Magic Wheelchair, right? That's right, yep. So Magic Wheelchair is here at 3D Experience World, and they're going to be giving, they're going to be showing two reveals here shortly. Mark and Jean Paulo are going to go over there for the reveals live, but we had an opportunity to look at it earlier, and they're actually taking donations here at the show. And if right. you uh, come to the show and donate, you can get some swag for your badge. And I decided. I was going to choose the dark side. I don't know if that has anything to do with uh, <laughs> what they're going to be revealing. That's uh, another thing that didn't change, you know? Yeah, the dark side, all, yeah. The, all the badges like, we get on here. Like it, Jeremy, yeah. that's, that's really interesting that you, you did that, because I also went over to Magic Wheelchair earlier 
and I also donated, but I went for the light side. <laughs> so, oh, I think we're going to yeah. have a little competition here this <laughs> week. So, oh, my. Well, this, the force has to be balanced, so I guess that makes sense. We got, we got the light side and the dark side. But definitely stop by uh, over there. It's right as you walk in. Uh, you can get um, some badges here, Magic Wheelchair badges. We didn't even actually explain what Magic Wheelchair is. Yeah, Magic Wheelchair is a great organization that is creating a wheelchair kind of as a costume for children in wheelchairs, completely free for these kids. And they're incredible. SolidWorks has been involved with them in the past. We did a monster truck two years ago. Right. We did a Tron motorcycle last yeah, year. That was cool, yeah. And you two are going to go ahead over right now and see the two new reveals for this year. So, John Paul, I want to thank you so much for thank being you. here. Thank you. And thank you, you for having me.